Hey guys, Frank Cox here, Smoker Builder. Hey, on today's podcast, we're going to answer a question that was asked to me on one of our live Q&A sessions that we have every month. The question was, where do I get my paint? Well, I go way deeper than that in this episode, but before we get into that, I want to invite you to join us on one of these live Q&A sessions that we have every month. Just simply go to the description on this episode and click the link, and it'll take you to a form that you can fill out. Once you fill out that form, I'll put you on my list where I send the link to every month. So anyway, click that link and join us on the next call, and I'll answer your question. Anyway, enjoy this episode, and I look forward to seeing you. So if you're insulating, you can just use uh, implement paint. Just use implement paint. Like there's a brand, I don't remember, the, uh, Matt Jordan might remember the brand. It's uh, um, it's a pretty much every like tractor supply and all these different companies. It's tractor paint is what it is. Um, they got every color, like red, blue, yellow, you know, any tractor color, they got it. Green, stuff like that. We use the hell out of that. It's good stuff. So what it is, uh, it, it will, like where your throat opening comes through from the firebox to the cook chamber at the bottom. Um, if someone runs a hot fire in there, it will like turn color. If you get a yellow or a blue, it'll kind of turn brown on you. Maybe I'm colorblind. So hell if I know what color it is, but it's something like that. It's a different color than you put on it. Right. So, uh, you know, you'll, you'll probably deal with that a little bit, but like I painted a cooker for my cousin one time, I got some freaking expensive paint from PPG. It's a, uh, it's a, uh, what the hell is that called with an E? Um, enamel uh, is a 400 degree paint and it looked good. It was called French metallic blue. There's an old hundred pound cylinder cooker I built back in like 2012 or something. And I painted the whole cooker like that. And man, for the cooker pictures, like when I first built it without a fire, took pictures of it, looked, it was awesome. Well, what happened was, is that firebox turned like brown. The first fire I did it in it, it was pretty sad, but it still looked good. You know, it's a kind of a crap brown, but it was still cool, you know. Uh, so for cook chamber though, you should be okay if they don't get over 400, 400 degrees. We use that on ugly drums all the time, Tom and I do. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Pitmaster Secrets podcast. Uh, Once again, I'm Frank Cox. I'm the founder of Smoker Builder. And uh, what I want to do is extend an invitation to you. If you're looking to get your smoker started, building your first one or your next one, if you have any questions or I can be of any assistance at all, please click the link in this description or just simply type in smokerbuilder.com. That'll take you to my website. And on that website, I'm going to get you started on whatever information you need to help you get your build, build done faster and easier than you can imagine. So anyway, go to smokerbuilder.com. Also, join in our community. And if you found this episode valuable, please like and share with your friends and subscribe to this channel. So anyway, I appreciate you. Until next time, keep your smoke thin and blue. And uh, we'll see you later.